Sustainability was defined by the World Commission on Environment and Development 1987 report, Our Common Future, also known as the Brundtland Report, as development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency defines it as the ability to achieve continuing economic prosperity while protecting the natural systems of the planet and providing a high quality of life for its people. There are many other definitions applied to specific aspects of social, economic, and environmental activities. Why is sustainability a concern for us at this time? One, depletion of finite world resources. Two, third world development and its associated impacts on ecology and resources. Three, exponential population growth. Four, global climate change. Five, growing inability of environmental sinks to absorb waste and pollution. Let's discuss sustainable buildings. In the United States, according to the Energy Information Agency, or EIA, Commercial Buildings Energy Consumption Survey, CBECS, buildings use about 40% of the total energy we consume and emit about 43% of the carbon dioxide we release. They use about 70% of the nation's electricity consumption. The construction industry comprises almost 5% of the United States' gross domestic product. We build about 35,000 new commercial buildings and remodel about the same number every year. Edward Mosria, the founder of Architecture 2030, in the 2010 imperative webcast on February 20, 2007, said, our building stock will be composed of 75% new or remodeled buildings in 2030. Clearly, buildings are an important factor in whether we have a sustainable society in the future. We still have an opportunity to influence the design, construction, and operation of these buildings. What is sustainable design? Historically, the issue of sustainability of buildings has not been a major design determinant. Such factors as style and initial cost have been more important to us during most of our past. If we are to begin to construct buildings that are truly sustainable, the process must begin with design. We must educate the designers of our buildings in the science and technique of sustainable architecture. A sustainable building is one that uses the minimum of resources over its lifetime, consistent with the responsible needs of the occupants. How is sustainable design measured? The concept of sustainable building design has evolved as thoughtful architects, engineers, scientists, industry members, and others become aware of the issues. People began to apply their ideas to building design and to publish their designs. Many claims of sustainable design were made, and in some cases the claims were disputed by other thoughtful people. A need for a measuring stick for sustainability became apparent. The earliest rating system was published by the Building Research Establishment in the United Kingdom in 1990. This system is named Building Research Establishment Environmental Assessment Method, BREAM. It has grown from a checklist into a tool that may be used throughout the life of a building. It has been used in Canada, Australia, and some countries in Europe as a basis for their rating systems. Several countries have collaborated to develop the Green Building Challenge Assessment Framework, or GBCAF, which was originally published in 1998. From this work came a spreadsheet called GB Tool to adapt GBCAF to regional energy and environmental priorities. The intention was to provide an international system that all nations could use to adapt the framework to local conditions. Brazil, Italy, and Korea are using the system to produce their rating tools. 